Welcome to the Check Your Understanding for 5.2b, Venn Diagrams, Two-Way Tables. What is the relationship between educational achievement and home ownership? A random sample of 500 U.S. adults was selected. Each member of the sample was identified as a high school graduate or not, and as a homeowner or not. The two-way table displays the data. Suppose we choose a member of the sample at random. Let's define the events G to be a person um, being a high school graduate, and H, the person is a homeowner. So we have a two-way table um, showing the data. We don't see like totals, but we can see 221 of the 500 were a homeowner and a high school graduate. Now explain in plain language what the probability of G complement means and find the probability. So this is not G. So a person is a high school graduate. They are not a high school graduate. So that's going to be 0.38. 190 out of 500. So where does that 190 come from? Well, that's going to be the total of 119 and 71. You add those up, you get 190. So that's the probability if you pick somebody at random from the 500, they would not be a high school graduate. It's going to be the complement of being a high school graduate. Explain why the probability of graduate or homeowner is not equal to the probability of graduate plus the probability of homeowner, but then find it. So in order to just add up the two probabilities, those two events need to be mutually exclusive, meaning they can't happen at the same time. But we have people who are both high school graduates and homeowners, so we can't just add those two separate probabilities um, because we would double count these 221 people that are both. Um, so if you're going to do the probability of graduate or um, home, homeowner, you can do the probability of graduate, the 310 out of 500, plus the probability of homeowner, but then subtract the overlap. So you make sure you don't count it, double count it. So 429. You could also add up these three values of 221, 89, and 119. Because the complement to being a high school graduate or a uh, homeowner would be being neither. That's 71. That's why if you do 529 plus 71, you get 500. But your final answer is 85.8%. Make a Venn diagram to display the sample space of this chance process. So you have the total number of graduates would be these two numbers. You have the 221 in the overlap. 89 people were graduates but not homeowners, 119 were homeowners but not graduates, and 71 were neither. Uh, write the event is not a high school graduate and is a homeowner in symbolic form and find the probability. Now you could write and, you could also write the upside down U, that intersection symbol. So probability of not a graduate, the complement of the set of graduates and homeowner, and that's gonna be 119 over 500. So they need to be both a homeowner and not a graduate. So in the Venn diagram, they need to be in the set of homeowners, but not in the set of graduates. So that's these 119. And that's 0.238 or 23.8%. Thank you.